Wednesday afternoon, on demand storm tracker forecast time. Chief Meteorologist Mike Kerr checking out the latest forecast models and what to expect over the next handful of days. Another storm system hitting the coast, another one behind that. So it could be a fairly active pattern as we go through the next two to three days with a strong westerly flow and a couple of disturbances. So we're ahead of that right now. It's turning out to be a milder afternoon, but travel impacts are mainly confined to far northwestern Montana around Glacier National Park, for example. But Look out past between Missoula and uh, Wallace, Idaho. Uh, I-90 could see around 2 to 5 inches of snow. There are some advisories out tonight into early tomorrow morning. But ahead of this next storm, we're going to start to see some very strong surface winds. Uh, that will be developing throughout the day Friday, Friday night, and into Saturday. There are high wind watches out across much of central Montana. These could get upgraded to high wind warnings, and I do expect to see possible gusts over 60 miles per hour. Right now, winds are frisky in wind-prone areas, Whitehall, Ennis, and slightly stronger around Ennis. But as you look at a wind forecast model, it shows some very strong winds in the Ennis Three Forks areas overnight around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, you could see peak gusts around 40 to 50 mph as well as Livingston. The winds ease a little bit throughout the day tomorrow, but they could really ramp back up again in wind-prone areas Friday afternoon, Friday evening, and by early Saturday morning, Livingston, you're looking at gusts around 60 miles per hour, gusts around 40 to 50 mph around Ennis and Three Forks, and even Bozeman and Butte will start to see some stronger surface winds as we look into Saturday morning. So wind is just one byproduct of this pattern that's trying to develop here. The other will be off and on periods of snow, mainly higher based, and you can see it's scattered throughout the day tomorrow. Slight chance for some valley and mountain snow showers Thursday afternoon and evening, and then a little drier by Friday. So snow accumulation forecast models. Higher elevations could see several inches of snow. Could complicate travel over mountains and passes around the region as you go through the next two or three days. So Butte, mostly cloudy, not as cold tonight, around 18 degrees. 38 tomorrow, slight chance for snow and gusty winds. Same for Bozeman, a few flakes are possible, but with temperatures in the upper 30s tomorrow, anything that does stick will be melting off in the afternoon. That's the latest forecast. We'll take a look at the weekend outlook and the holiday outlook for next week, tonight at 530 and 10 at KXLF and KBCK.